Okay, I want to show you guys a very cool logarithmic equation with square root. Here we have the natural log of square root of x, and that's equal to square root of natural log of x. And we know this is not an identity, meaning it's not true for all x. However, this equation is true for 2x values. So you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Perhaps I'll tell you guys the answers first, yeah? So right here, I'll just tell you, here are the answers. X is equal to 1, because that way we'll just get 0 is equal to 0, because ln1 is equal to 0. And we also have another answer, e to the fourth power. So here are the two answers for this equation. All right, of course, I'll show you guys how to solve it. But first of all, we can also talk about the domain of ln of square root of x and also the domain for square root of ln x. Um, that will be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and do that right here. When we have ln of this, we have to pay attention to the inside. So let's say this is the first part and then this is the second part. For the first part, because we have square root of x instead of the ln, we have to make sure that square root of x has to be greater than zero, okay? This means you can just square both sides so x has to be greater than zero and you can maintain the same inequality because squaring both sides when this is positive already you maintain the square you maintain the greater than symbol secondly we want the inside which is ln of x but this inside of the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero right so this is how you set up the domain for ln function and the domain for square root function. So that's the interesting part. And for this one, we can just do e to this power, e to this power, namely exponentiating both sides. And again, we can maintain the inequality because exponentiating is just a one-to-one -one function. So anyway, this right here tells us x has to be greater than or equal to one. Combine both conditions, we must have x is greater than or equal to one. So keep that in mind. Right, because we want this to happen, likewise, we also need that to happen. So anything less than 1, it's not allowed for our equation. Anyway, though, here's the deal. When we have ln, of course, we can write the square root as the 1 half power. So this is ln x to the 1 half power, and that's equal to, let's keep it as square root of ln x. This way, we can put the 1 half to the front, and then we can say that's 1 half, ln and then because we have x is greater than or equal to 1 already so you don't need to worry about like have the absolute value whatsoever you just have to keep that in mind and this is equal to square root of ln x so that's pretty cool now what do we do next uh, you can just now square both sides if you like because we have to get rid of this square root so let's go ahead and do that square this square that this and that will cancel nicely and then we will get 1 half square which is 1 over 4 and this is the same as ln x and then we square that's equal to ln x but put that to the other side so minus ln x and that's equal to 0 from here we can factor out an ln x so ln x times the first one will give us 1 over 4 ln x and then minus 1 and that's equal to 0 so from here we know that ln x has to be equal to 0 because of the zero product property and then this part has to be equal to 0 so 1 over 4 ln x minus 1 is equal to 0 to solve this equation just exponentiate both sides x is equal to 1 and it works and to solve this move the 1 to the other side multiply both sides by 4 so ln x has to be equal to 4 and that means x has to be equal to e to the fourth power it's definitely bigger than or equal to 1 as well. So therefore, here we have our answer. Pretty cool, huh? So now, I solved that one for you guys. I have a question for you guys, for you guys to try. Go ahead and solve this equation if we have ln of x squared, and that's equal to, you guessed it, ln of x, and then to the third power. No, just kidding, of course. Just for fun, make the two on the whole side. Eh? So x is equal to what? So go ahead and try this right here. 